Digital downloads and judicial products are becoming very popular. In 2022, the global content revenue almost hit $300 billion, which is insane. So today I'll be showing you five high ticket digital product ideas that can make over $1,000 per month on Etsy. To help us identify these products, I'll be using a research tool called Everbee for the product analysis, which would give us insight into the estimated sales, revenue, profit margin, the niche, and the product format. To make this video even more interesting, I'll be adding some criteria. First, we will be looking at products specifically that their selling price is above $10. The listing age and the store age has to be below six months and the revenue has to be above a thousand dollars per month and you might ask why these criteria selling digital products within the one to five dollar range means you need a ton of traffic and a large amount of sales before the amount start adding up but instead if you decide to sell high ticket digital products you might have less sales but the revenue would be much higher and for the listing age and the store age being less than six months this is just to show you what is possible if you decide to create and sell these digital products today so with that being said let's get started all right so the first product we'll be looking at would be logo designs so before we dive into logo designs it's important to understand how the ever be works so the ever be you have to download the chrome extension and install it and once you install it you're going to have a blue bar by the left which you could sign in that you'll be using for the analysis now we are in etsy the first thing we will type in is logo design and once you do that and hit enter it's going to load and we'll be analyzing the first page because majority of the listings on the first page means that these listings are doing really well or that are making a lot of sales and some of them are ads as well. So let's go ahead and pull in all these listings to start analyzing. So we come to the left and click on product analytics. What it's going to do is going to pull in all the listings on that first page so we could start analyzing them one after the other. So it pulled in roughly 75 listings. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort by estimated revenue in the last month. So we want it to be from the highest to the lowest. Okay. So at the beginning of the video, we talked about the criteria we wanted. So let's just see which one makes our criteria. So this is above $10. The listing age is one month. The store age is about nine months. So let's look for something that is less than nine months or less than six months so this second listing meets our criteria and this is doing um above a thousand dollars per month so we click into it and once you click into it a bar is going to appear by the left to give you a bit of insight as well as different keywords as well but what we're going to be doing is we'll be clicking into the product on etsy itself because sometimes you see the estimated revenue it might not be the exact amount because if the if the store is running a discount the revenue is going to be different so let's just click into this and it's going to open just right from the bat you could see that this particular listing is a bestseller to tell you that this listing is doing really well so let's quickly calculate the revenue as you could see they are doing 70 percent off this is 18.83 plus so when you see plus you know that they have several packages so let's click on the package and you could see they have premium standard basic but for the sake of the video we'll be using the list amount which is the basic to do our calculation so we would to bring back our bar by the right we'll click on this tiny b and it loads and once it loads let's pull up our calculator because we want to use that to do some calculation so we'll do 18.83 multiply by the estimated monthly sales which is 265 so 265 times and it gives us 4989.95 which is a whole lot and remember this is just the basic package we're using obviously there'll be different customers that require different packages so now we can understand the revenue let's also look at the net profit margin so we click on calculate profit and this page opens up we're going to remove the cost of item because we're not sure what it is 
obviously there's no shipping costs and calculate and you could see the breakdown and from there's also a breakdown of the etsy fees so this is roughly about 81.15 percent of net profit so obviously something to take a note of is if you're running a etsy ads these numbers are definitely going to drop because it would be part of your cost now that we understand revenue we understand the net profit margin what is the file type so you could see here it's saying arriving very soon and you might be confused is it a physical product is it a digital product is a digital product so let's go into the description and you could see that they have they require a couple of time hours to do some revision or back and forth if the customer requires to change something and then it will be delivered by a google drive link but let's see exactly what product file type they're using so we click into the listing so once you go into their package you could see that it's been delivered as a jpeg or as a png and you could see the breakdown of their different packages so now we understand the file type the last thing we'll be looking at on this particular product is to go into the store to see what is going on so we click on the store name and it loads the store and you could see that this particular store only has four listings basically these two are the main listings while this is like tip me or if you need a custom order which is insane a lot of Etsy sellers have argued that you need more listings but the way i see it is it depends on the niche you are so if you're in a niche that is in high demand and has a high um revenue there's a possibility you don't even need a lot of listings to make sales as you could see from this particular store so now i'll be able to analyze logo designs let's move over to the next product all right so the second product we'll be talking about will be social media templates so we click on it and it loads and let's pull in all the listings on the first page so we could start analyzing them so it pulled in 64 listings so let's also sort from the highest to the lowest and let's look for the one that meets our criteria the store age okay so this this is the store is four months old and the listing is about three months so let's click into this and obviously it in terms of prices above ten dollars and it's making a thousand but let's be sure so we click on this and the bar appears so we click into it so it opens up in etsy so right from the get-go you could see that this product is a bestseller so let's bring up our calculator so we could do some calculations but before then let's click on the tiny b so that the bar by the right could appear so we could see the estimated monthly sales so we do 13.21 multiplied by 138 and this is roughly 8822 which is not bad this is usd so let's look at the profit margin the net profit margin we click into this and you can see that the net profit margin is 85.09 percent after the the removal of the cost obviously if you have more cost you could put that in so to know the exact net profit margin but this profit margin is really good so let's look into what formats they're being offered so this type of templates you could offer them as a canva template that you could give people links to those templates as a pdf file so you could see there's a digital file here and it's a pdf then the next thing is let's click into the store to see how many listings they have so we click into the store this particular store has just 19 listings and they're doing really well for a four month store they're doing great so these are the data you need to evaluate to be sure the type of products you want to sell before you even start selling so, next, so the next product we'll be looking at would be Shopify website templates or you could group them as the website template niche. So the website templates is not just Shopify. You could look into things like Wix, WooCommerce and some other um, website. But for this, we're using Shopify website and let's pull in the product analytics for this so we could see which product or listings are doing well and we could analyze them. So let's first of all, sort from highest to lowest 
and we look at something that has a lesser age okay this is one so this one has six months it's six months old both the listing age and the store age not bad and this is what they are doing so let's click into it and click into etsy again this product is bestseller right from the bat in six months they're really doing something right then let's click on our tiny b before we pull up our calculator so we'll pull up our calculator and clear this so we're dealing with 43.77 multiplied by 60 sales so 43.77 multiplied by 60 you could see this is 2626 this is usd if for people like me that live in canada this would be a whole lot of amount of money so you could see that these products are doing really well and you could see that the estimated monthly sales is just 60 but the amount they are charging for it makes up for you know the amount of sales that they are making so let's also look at the profit margin so we click on calculate profit and you could see this is 86.45 percent is really even higher than the previous product that we looked into this is really mind-blowing so let's go into the store to see so for the before you go into the store for the file type obviously it's a shopify template so that's what you'll be offering so let's go into unique teams that's the name of their store to see how many listings they have so they have roughly 32 listings and the store is not doing bad for a six month store you could see they don't have so much sales but anytime they make sales it really really adds up so if you're liking this video so far and you're finding value please like subscribe to join this community so the fourth product we'll be looking at today would be small business keeping um templates so these can be hosted in things like spreadsheets like google sheets and excel as you could see they are mostly spreadsheets so let's pull this in and we could do a bit of analysis i love spreadsheets my whole store is based upon spreadsheets so let's look into what they are doing so you could see estimated revenue in the last month so let's sort from highest to lowest as usual and look for the ones that has not been that old so this is not old and it's doing well so let's click into this and click here and let it open so if you pay close attention you notice that the first four products that we have looked into are basically for businesses so it looks as if those doing businesses have money to spend so this is something you might need to pay attention to so we click on the little b and pull up our calculator again so we are multiplying 12.55 and the estimated revenue is estimated sales is 194 so this is 12.55 multiplied by 194 okay this is 2400 this is really this is really good for a three months old store or is it a month old Let's look at the profit margin this is 82.38 so you, all these products have a profit margin of over 80 percent which is wild and um, i've talked about the file type you're going to either um, provide it as an excel or as a google sheet so let's go into the store and see how many listings they have so this store only has eight and the eight is just the same listing but different color so this is the same listing two colors this and this is okay monthly budget this they are basically different color variations and they are really doing well all right so the last product that we'll be looking at would be notion template so this is the only product i have on my list that is not business related so this is related to productivity notion templates let's pull in and do the analysis notion templates are very popular so it's something that you might need to look into it takes time to create but definitely it's worth it so 70 listings so, so let's sort again so we're looking for notion templates that are not that old so this this is just an on ten dollars and it's one month old and the store is one month old that i've done this already guys let's let's click into this and see what's going on so we have this 
and you could see the keywords but let's click into the listing it's also a bestseller so all these products are bestsellers without even me knowing that they are bestsellers so let's look at this is ten dollars and four cents so we we'll click on our b again and pull up our calculator so we clear this so this is ten dollars and four multiply by four nine four seven nine this is wild this is four thousand eight hundred and nine this is crazy for a listing that is just one month old um that i'm dumbfounded obviously the file type is notion so you might deliver it as a pdf and give them link to the notion um templates basically so we click into the store and see how many listings guys just one one listing i'm really really dumbfounded because these stores are really killing it so as you can see there is so much money to be made if you do your research properly some of these products might be harder to create than some that we have talked about on this channel but it's well worth it if you're able to learn how to create any of these templates and list them on etsy you would make a ton of money so if you're interested in me making an in-depth tutorial in on any of these products i've mentioned today kindly put that in the comment section so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye